you're making some tough decisions about what to have to eat. Sometimes that can be the hardest decision of your day, right, guys? So let's say we want to have dinner, and you want to have what? Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. And what do you want to have? French fries. French fries. Well, how do you choose? I think the best way is if everybody in the group ranks their choices, and then if your top choice isn't picked, your vote goes toward your second choice. Does that sound fair? Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Yes. That's a good idea. Maybe we should think about this for our elections. Excuse me. Can I ask you about movies? Of course. Okay. Let's say you're hosting a movie night with your friends, and half want to watch a comedy, half want to watch action. What are we gonna do? Why not action comedy? So smart. We're gonna find a compromise. Yeah. So like, if everybody ranked their top choices, then if your top choice doesn't win, your vote would count toward your second choice. That sounds fair, right? That sounds very fair. There you go. It's exactly like ranked choice voting. Do you mind if I ask you some quick questions about how we make a choice? Yes. Okay. Cool. So let's say we're going out to dinner. What kind of food should we get? Um. Pizza. I love pizza, but let's say all the friends that we're with have a different idea. How are we gonna choose now? Voting. Okay, that's a great idea. What if, so that nobody's sad about the place we go to eat, everyone ranks their choices, so that even if you don't get your number one choice, your vote could still count toward your second choice. Yes. That sounds better. Yes, that's what ranked choice voting is all about: better representation, better outcomes, and unicorns. All right. Today we're talking about how we make hard choices with Alyssa. Alyssa, let's say you're going on a trip with like ten of your good friends, and everyone has a different idea of where to go. How do you decide? I would usually do majority rules. Yeah, that's typically the way it goes, right? But we don't want anybody to be sad about where we're going on our vacation. So what if everybody ranked their choices, and then the group just chooses the top choice? It definitely be a better choice. <laughs> yeah. So maybe next time we have an election, do you think we should use ranked choice voting? I think it'd be a pretty interesting. Interesting thing to try. I agree. Thank you so much, Alyssa. Hey, everyone. I'm today's choice chef, asking people questions about ranked choice voting and food. All right. Let's say we're going out to dinner tonight. What kind of food do you want?、Uh, dim sum. I love it. Okay. Now let's say we're in a group of friends, and not everybody wants dim sum. What do we do? Fight. Fight sounds good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's a pugilist. No. Okay, we're gonna try to represent everyone. What do you think about ranking your restaurant choices so that if your first choice doesn't win, maybe you have a chance at your second choice? I like that. Yeah. Thinking of this, next time we have an election, do you think it would be better to be able to rank your choices instead of just having one candidate to vote for? That sounds good. Yeah. Seems more fair. I agree. Ranked choice voting. Better representation, better choices, better outcomes.